When should you get tested for COVID-19 or reach for the over-the-counter cold medicine? The latest surge comes as the flu and allergies are also threatening people's immune systems. Esmeralda Perez talked to area doctors today about the differences between the two illnesses. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about that? That's right, Adriana. With the surge of COVID-19 radiant variants, flu season, and allergies, it may be a bit difficult to figure out what exactly is making you sick. Health professionals shared with me the symptoms to look out for and when you should be going to get tested for COVID-19. If you're feeling a little under the weather, you're not alone. And if you're having trouble figuring what your body is fighting, well, you're not alone there either. The triple threat of COVID, flu, and allergies is making it tough to figure the best way to fight your illness. First, we'll take a look at allergies and the dreaded cedar fever. A lot of people this time of year with mountain cedar have allergies. They're not usually going to have a fever. Most of them know they have this every time of the year. They don't usually have bad headaches and symptoms like that with it. Doctors say it's a little easier to tell if you're fighting the flu by looking for these signs. Now with the flu, it's rapid onset of symptoms after exposure with someone with the flu. Usually more body aches, fever is more common, they can have headaches, sometimes GI symptoms. Reynolds County Health Authority Dr. Brad Bundren says with the new strains of COVID-19, it may be challenging to notice the difference from a common cold to COVID-19 virus. From a symptom point of view, uh, if you have fever, that makes it easy. Uh, if you lose your smell uh, or taste, that makes it easy. But the majority of people nowadays uh, are not going to have fever and they're not gonna have loss of smell or taste. Um, those are uh, those are things that are more common in Omicron. The, the the absence of those things is more common in Omicron than in the prior variants. So doctors say it may be harder to tell if you have contracted COVID. Right now, getting tested is your best bet. And doctors still say your best defense against COVID is to get a vaccine, or if you have already been vaccinated, get a booster. Omicron is. Uh, the variant that is causing nearly all of the disease now, that uh, uh, it is not severe in almost everyone who's had vaccine or prior uh, COVID, uh, but for people who are at risk, uh, for instance, uh, over 65 or have uh, uh, obesity or hypertension or diabetes, they can still get very sick with Omicron. And uh, I recommend that. Uh, they either be very, very careful or uh, get vaccinated. As always, if you have any questions about your health, you should consult with your doctor. Back to you.